It's time, episode three of Operation N64. What is up guys, welcome to the channel, my name is Brad and in this series we are trying to build an N64 collection starting off with just £10. We're hitting our charity shops, our, our car boots, our Facebook marketplace looking for stuff for cheap that we can sell for a profit to buy N64 bangers. Now before we get into this week's video, there's a couple of updates to the game fund. We've made two sales, eBay's been pretty quiet man, nothing's been selling. I've been buying stuff with value but it's just not... Maybe what people are looking for at the minute or what people want to pay out for at the minute. So it's sort of just sitting there on uh, eBay at the moment. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe to pull some of it down, uh, trade it into CEX and buy something more desirable like we've done before in previous videos. Uh, let me know in the comments below if I should do that or if I should hold on and just ride it out and see if this stuff sells. But anyway, we've made uh, two sales this week. We sold that uh, Supersonic the Hedgehog uh, Yellow plushie for $19.99. And we also sold that new Super Mario Bros for the Wii, just a box and manual for $4. Pound. So we've got a grand total of this to add to the game fund for a grand total of this. So we've still got a nice little chunk of money there to go out and buy and stuff to sell. So let's get going. What is up guys? Voice over Brad here. Now this charity shop has been really good to me recently. I think this is the third trip here that we've had some fruit. We found some stuff. A bunch of PS1 games, man. I never see PS1 games anywhere. Uh, not the most amazing titles, I must admit, but I'm picking them up regardless because PS1 titles I just never come across, so it's really cool to see. Um, I had a flick through all the other games here, uh, nothing really, uh, these games have been here for a little while, and nothing exciting. I think I picked up one more game, but uh, yeah, very cool to see PS1 games. Like I said, I never see them. Let me know, guys, if you see PS1 games in charity shops often, or if they're like a rarity or whatever, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know, but for me, it just never happens. So I was picking them up. Um, Call of Duty here. I don't know why I picked that up. There's no value in it. But uh, yeah, I had a look at some other games. Uh, I picked up one more, I think. Uh, but yeah, touch. As you can see, I paid a pound a piece for them games in that last charity shop, which is a result. Uh, this one here, now these uh, they price their games pretty um, pretty mad in here. Um, I don't pick up a lot in here. Sometimes I do, but um, they had a few Wii games uh, priced up at like four pound a piece. Uh, not worth picking up. I saw something kind of interesting. Uh, was this uh, Lord of the Rings game? It, it looks sealed, but to me it kind of looks like a reseal. Let me know in the comments below if this is a reseal, if this is an original seal and it's never been played. Let me know. I couldn't tell. It didn't look right to me. Uh, four quid, five quid, I think they were asking for it. This one as well, uh, uh, sealed as well. I think this might have been an original seal. I left it behind. Should I have picked them up? Let me know, guys. Uh, they looked a bit dodgy to me, like they'd been resealed, but uh, I could have been wrong. Uh, I didn't pick them up after because £5 a piece wasn't worth it. This DVD here, I mean, this sells for, I think, about 10 This Blu-ray sells for about 10 quid, but they had £5 on it, so uh, I'm, I'm not picking up, just in case. Um, but yeah, this charity shop is a bit of a fail. Now, this one here, um, I used to do pretty well in here. Uh, £1 a game that they do in here. Um, so yeah, I love to, love to look in here. I found DVDs a piece in here. This game right here probably would have been worth picking up for a pound but it weren't in the box, unfortunately. Uh, so I started checking through the Wii boxes, like I do. Um, some FIFA's here. Uh, but yeah, checking through the Wii boxes, and boom! Wii Sports. A whole bunch of FIFA's in this one. Uh, I didn't pick any of them up. Uh, let me know if there was any I missed, because I know one or two FIFA's do have a bit of value, but I didn't pick any of these ones up. Flip through the DVDs, as I always do, looking for them box sets, or looking for them like odd DVDs worth a bit of money. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't find any. I saw one box set in here, I think. Uh, Widows, I think it was called. I don't know. I always check these odd box sets just in case they have a bit of value, but uh, it didn't, unfortunately. Another charity shop here, and uh, I saw this box set, this Batman box set. These these films are banging films. Uh, the box, I think they had two quid on it. I think it was only worth about four pounds, so I left it behind. Uh, check the kids' DVDs. Always check the kids' DVDs. Uh, they're the ones that hold some value. There's some odd uh, uh, DVDs worth a bit of money. Someone said about checking Harry Potter books, these hardbacks, to see if they're first editions. I can't tell, but I don't think these these were. Um, plus, they were had a lot of writing inside. A lot of like, scribbles and stuff, so I, I didn't bother picking them up. I do love the Harry Potter books, so 
Uh, looking for goosebumps, as always. Always looking for goosebumps, um, but didn't find any this time. I then asked the bloke uh, or the woman behind the till if they had any games out the back, and they did. And he uh, took me out the back and showed me what he had. Uh, take a look. Come and see. That's where she stayed in that bed Coming in, is it? Yeah. yeah. You've got Skyline as well. Yeah. You've got the booster pack for it. Okay. You've got Sims 3. Sims 3. Uh, PC DVD. Yeah. You've got Resistance, is it? Yeah, for the PlayStation. Mm. PlayStation 3, I'm sorry. Mm. And uh, Sims 3. Ambitions expansion pack, right. PC DVD again. Got Mass Effect 3 for cool. PlayStation. FIFA 13, PlayStation 3. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's got a small Another port. Skyland over there. Yep. Got Grand Slam. And some tennis. And Playground Wii. Playground Wii, is it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. How much have you got on this uh, Skyland over there? I don't know. I think they would, I took it to CEX, they said they would give about 10 pounds, they were just going to sell it for 25, so, say, 20 pounds? 20 pounds, is yeah. it? Yeah, everything. So unfortunately, he was asking CEX prices on them, uh, uh, Skylanders in that last cherry shot, which was a shame, but never mind, you win some, you lose some. A couple of PS2 games in this one, and then I saw, again, which I never see. Look, you'll see them now. I catch them right in the corner of my eye. I see them. Uh, but yeah, more PS1 games. I couldn't believe it. I never see PS1 games. And then two charity shops in the same week had PS1 games. E.T. What a great find. I think I'm going to keep this one. And then the other one was this Peter Pan uh, Return to Neverland or something. Adventures in Neverland. Very cool to see. I'm looking through plushies now, and I saw this um, uh, Mario plushie. It was pretty battered and bad nick, so I didn't pick it up. But after selling that Sonic one for like £20, I'm looking for these like game-related plushies now, because I think there's a bit of value. I definitely think there's a market for them, so I'm keeping my eye out for them. Uh, I didn't pick him up this time, but uh, cool to see. And as you could see, I paid 99p a piece for them PS1 games, which is crazy to me. Yeah, so £2 for two PS1 games is a great deal. Uh, this charity shop, they've had a revamp. They've done the shop out. It looks really nice, uh, but their prices don't, unfortunately. And I found this Cluedo, brand new, £2 for this brand new Cluedo. I love this game. I said it before, my favourite board game. You guys don't agree, but I love it. I also saw this Mario in the, in, in the window. She had 10 on it. If it was maybe 7 or 8, I might have picked it up. And also inside, I saw a couple of games. She had a fiver on this. Um, if it was a pound, I would have picked it up. Two pound maybe, but five pound, I'm not picking it up. It's only worth maybe eight or nine quid, but uh, never mind. And then I went to a new recycle centre, a new tip in Britain Ferry. I've never been here before. I've been told about it. Um, it had a load of stuff in there. Pretty cool to see, to be fair. Uh, I had a look around, you know, looked at the DVDs like I always do. Searching for games. Couldn't see any on these shelves, which was a bit of a shame. But uh, I had a flip through. No games, Brad. No, not this time. But then I did uh, carry on walking around, seeing what else they had to offer. These places are great places to pick up TVs. You can get TVs pretty cheap at these places if you're looking for them. And then I did find a box of games right here, but nothing really in there. Uh, they have this demo disc, which uh, can be collectible, look pretty cool, uh, but I didn't bother picking it up. A bunch of FIFAs and rugby games and stuff, some Guitar Hero there. Um, I think there was, uh, I checked this Wii Fit. Oh yeah, no, no, just Wii Fit this time, which is mad. <laughs> and then uh, this Madagascar game, again, no value in it really. But you know me, I'm a sucker for PS2 games. Uh, I didn't pick it up, actually, which is mad. You would have thought I would pick it up, but I didn't. Uh, but yeah, I asked the bloke then at the counter if he had any more games out the back. And he said yes, but he also told me that there'd be no filming out the back. So I had to turn the camera off so you guys couldn't see what I saw. 
And we are back in the games room. Now, a pretty mad week for me, if I'm honest. I never see PS1 games, never see them in charity shops or anywhere. And I literally saw them everywhere. It was mad. Now, we'll go through everything I picked up. I've picked up a few bits and pieces I'm going to keep for myself. I also picked up something really cool that I wanted to sell. But once the missus saw it, she wanted to keep it. So we're keeping that. Uh, but we'll go through everything now. So I spent a total of £15 out of the game fund on stuff to resell. So we can deduct that now. Um, we'll go through everything now. But the first thing we're going to go through is the last bit of footage you saw. I was in a new recycle centre, a new tip uh, in Britain Ferry. And... Um, as I was walking out the back, I asked him, I said, you got any more games? He said, yeah, come out the back. So as I was walking out the back, he said, no recording out here. So I had to turn the camera off. So I couldn't show you what there was. But yeah, PS1, Xbox, Xbox 360, PS2. There was some Xbox One games there, but they were pretty trashed. Uh, some Wii stuff. Uh, so yeah, I went for everything, you know, checking the prices and whatnot. He was doing three for a five pound, I think it was. Yeah, three for a fiver. So I spent a tenner in there. I'll show you what I picked up. Um... First off, I think it's the best one, well, my favourite of the lot, is this X-Men Mutant Academy. This thing is uh, complete. It's in pretty good nick. It's got the manual. It is complete. It's in pretty good condition. Um, I'm not sure how much I can get for this, so I have to check on eBay. But I'm sure it's somewhere near like a tenner, which isn't too bad. That's what it says here. I'm sure this is an old uh, Game Station. Do you remember Game Station? Uh, game Station sticker right there. But maybe a tenner for this, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, very cool to see. PS1 games everywhere. Very cool. Uh, another PS1 game here, not as in as good condition. It's cracked across the front here. It is missing a manual, um, but it is Crash Bandicoot Warped. Uh, again, I'm not sure how much I can get for this. I mean, I paid technically £1.75 or something. So even if I get a fiver for it, I'm going to be happy. But yeah, very cool. Uh, an Xbox game here, OG Xbox game, The Punisher. Um, I think it's about a £10 game. So not a bad little pickup for this one. And a few Wii games here. Got Animal Crossing. I'm sure this is about a £10 game. Uh, Wii Fit. No, it's not Wii Fit. It's Wii Sports. Again, madness, madness. We had two of these this week. Uh, but yeah, Wii Sports. And another Mario Party 8. Complete, in really good condition. Uh, like I said, it's about £18 to £20 game. But I have got one sitting on eBay and just getting no bites. So... Again, like I asked at the beginning of the video, should I trade this sort of stuff in, get a bit of money and buy something more desirable in the CX? I'm thinking about it. So yeah, let me know. Mario Party 8. So we go back to the beginning of the video now and the first stop, PS, PS1 games. First stop was PS1 games and I was like, this is mad. I'm picking them all up regardless. Um, so one of them I'm going to hold on to because it's pretty trash, but I'm, it's PS1 game. I'm going to pick it up. But here are the ones I'm going to try and sell on. It's Pong and it is complete. It's in really good condition. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Uh, Dragon Seek. Dragon Tales, Dragon Seek. Come on, man. Look at that cartoon style. That's mad. It is complete as well and in good condition, so I don't know how much it goes for. I will look all this stuff up. I paid a pound a piece for these ones, so uh, even if I double my money, I'm uh, winning. And the last one is this sheep. This looks proper interesting. I actually considered holding on to it. It's weird sheep. Um, but yeah, very cool to see. PS1 games in the charity shop. I just don't see them. And the last one is this. I, I grabbed them all anyway. This isn't bad, Nick. It needs a replacement box. It is incomplete. It is uh, downhill mountain biking. But yeah, I'll hold on to this for now and uh, see what I can do with it. But I haven't deducted this from the game fund, so don't worry. The next stop, I found this Just Dance 2. And it's not Just Dance 2, it's Wii Sports again. So a couple of loose Wii Sports this week. I normally sell them for about six or seven quid loose, a free delivery. So yeah, one pound paid for this. Uh, you know, five or six quid profit maybe. So yeah, happy days. Always check. the. Uh, I always say you check Wii Fit, but check every Wii case because you never know. And we popped up a Talbot then, check their charity shops out. And we found PS1 games again. Uh, it's mad. This uh, Peter Pan here, uh, Adventure in Neverland, is complete. It's in really good condition. This one I'm going to stick in the game fan, maybe sell for about five or maybe, I don't know. I have to check all these PS1 games because I don't really have a clue on them. Uh, it's all like a research he's doing, but I had to pick them up because it's PS1. I don't see them. And the one I'm going to hold on to, it does need a replacement case because it's a bit damaged, is this ET, the uh, 20th anniversary. It's ET, man. I'm not, I'm not selling this. This is staying. That's so cool to see. Chuff to find this. I also picked up a copy of this. I don't know why. I think I have it already. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might just trade this in. I'm not deducted from the game fund because it was a schoolboy error. A uh, couple of Goosebump books at the tip. I think I have these as well. I'm actually like building quite a stack of doubles at the moment. So again, if any of you guys are interested, reach out to me. I've got a ton of Goosebump books, uh, doubles for trade or whatever. So yeah, let me know. 
And then the last thing I found, which I wanted to sell on, because it's really, I mean, I love this game. I brought it home. The missus was like, keep it. It's, it's great, a uh, great find. It's this Cluedo, brand new sealed Cluedo. I paid two quid for it. Um, my favourite board game. I've said in the past, you guys said it wasn't, but it is my favourite board game, so I love it. Uh, but the missus wants to keep this because we don't have it. And it's a banging game to pull out of Christmas. So yeah, not a bad week, man. I found all sorts of bits and pieces. I'm happy with this week's hunting. It's gone pretty well. Uh, it's nice to see PS1. Like I said, again, I just don't see them. So it was nice to see them. Uh, a nice array of things. I'm going to get this stuff listed and up on eBay as soon as. Uh, let me know in the comments, though, if I should hold off on some of it and trade it in and try that well, like we've done before in the past. This worked for us in the past. I'm thinking of doing it because nothing in there. I'm getting no bites on some of this stuff. So... Yeah, let me know if that's a good idea. Let me know what you think of what I picked up. And as always, smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and be rad, stay rad, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.